We know that for months, Twilight fans have been itching for more and more New Moon info, but some are thinking that too much of the movie has been revealed. We're breaking it down right now. Hey everyone, you've reached another episode of Clever TV. I'm Dana Ward. A new teaser clip shows Aro discussing with the other Volturi leaders what to do with Bella, deciding that she knows too much about their secret lives. Before Felix can do anything about it, with the innate speed of a vampire, Edward interferes and his quest to save Bella turns into an all-out intense, super power-packed fight, ending with the Cullen's head being crashed into the marble ground. Plus, another new clip, staying with the theme of New Moon and its totally in-your-face introduction of the Wolves of La Push. Another clip reveals an upset Bella bickering with the pack, specifically getting into it with Paul. This is a scene where she full-on slaps him, causing Paul to turn into his wolf self as Sam warns Bella to get back, just as Jacob quickly transforms to protect her. In the end, we just get to see a snarling Jake wolf defending his Bella. And what about the leaked kissing scene, people? I'm talking about the extended clip with tons of Bella and Edward, where discussion of a birthday gift turns into a little bit of kissing passion. Now, did any of you guys catch it before it got removed from the internet? Let us know. Also happening, Twilight is heading into the real world. There's now a vitamin water commercial that also obviously promotes the new moon premiere date, and that relates vampires quenching their thirst to you needing to quench yours. Okay, kind of weird, but I want to know your opinion. Plus, Volvo even has a commercial showing tons of movie clips saying, if you live forever like Edward, what would you live to drive? Let us know your opinion about these two commercials. So a ton of fans have been totally upset about the over-commercialization of the Twilight Saga, but they're pretty darn upset about too much of the sequel being revealed before the premiere as well. So whose side are you taking on this one? Are you happy about everything Twilight, or do you wish a little bit would be saved for the theater premiere? This is a really big issue for fans right now, so please, please weigh in on the debate. Leave your comment here or send it to our Twitter page, at CleverTV. Plus, be sure to subscribe to Clever TV for all of your Twilight Saga news, reviews, and gossip. I'm Dana Ward. Thanks for watching.